Hey there students, I'm Elias Cliff, we're going to be going over four examples on unit conversion. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at question number one. Question one, we are going to convert, convert ten, uh, 10 centimeters to meters. Okay? All right, we know the conversion factor, we know that um, there are 100 centimeters per meter okay so what on earth does this mean well this means the following either you have 100 uh, centimeters over one meter or one meter over 100 centimeter you see these two conversion factors are equal to one so when you want to convert uh, from meters to centimeter one of these two options are going to be the one that you're going to use. When you multiply by these two conversion factors, you do not change the problem because they're both one. 100 centimeter and one meter are the same of the same magnitude. One meter and 100 centimeters are the same magnitude. So when you divide two quantities that are identical, of identical magnitude, you always get one. Okay? So let's take a look at this problem. So this is how you set it up. Whatever you're starting with, you write it up. You write it down as 10 centimeters. Put it over one. And then you're going to multiply by one of these two choices. So the question is, do I multiply by this option or do I multiply by this option? Now, this is the trick. If you have centimeters on top, you want the centimeter to cancel out. So you pick the one that has a centimeter on the bottom. So which one has a centimeter on the bottom? This one has a centimeter on the bottom, right? So this is a um, conversion factor that we're going to use. So it's going to be one meter on top divided by 100 centimeters on the bottom. So what happens here? You notice that this centimeter and this centimeter, they divide out. So this goes here one, and this goes here one. All right? And now you can multiply across. You're going to notice you have 10 over 100 meters. The goal is to get meters. Okay, so let's simplify this. Dividing by 10, the zeros can divide out. You have 1 over 10 meters. You can do this in your calculator, or let me just do this by hand. To get to make the denominator 1, I need to move the decimal point forward once. Okay? So there's a decimal point behind every uh, integer, so I'll move the decimal point forward once up here too. So the answer for this is going to be 0 0.1 meter. Okay? My one is kind of awkward. Let me write it again. So the answer is uh, 0 0.1 meter. All right, if I wanted to do that with my calculator, let me do that with my calculator so you see uh, that my answer is correct. Um, after doing setting up the conversion factor, you just simply do 10. You do 10. 10 divided by 100, and your answer is 0.1. So our answer is 0.1. So 1, 10 centimeters equals 0.1 meter. 0.1 meter, okay? All right, now let's take a look at question number two. Uh, question two is as follows: How many how many feet are there in five meters? Okay, and we know what the conversion factor is. Let's say we know that one meter is equal to three point two eight feet. So what can I derive? What are the two conversion factors I can I'll formulate using this uh, relationship, this conversion relationship. I know this tells me that one meter over 3.28 meter, 28 feet, is my first conversion conversion factor, or my second conversion factor could be 3.28 feet over one meter. These two conversion factors equal one, okay, because they're of the same magnitude. So whenever I'm going from meter to feet or feet to meter, I have to pick one of these two conversion factors to make that happen, all right? So let's take a look at our problem. So we're going to write down the problem we have, which is 5 meters, all right? So what you do is write down where you're starting from, 5 meter. Write it as a fraction always, over 1 times. Now you're going to ask yourself, which conversion factor do I pick? 1 meter per 3.28 feet or 3.28 feet per 1 meter? So the answer is whichever one has a meter on the bottom is the one I'll pick because I want the meters to cancel out. So which one has meter on the bottom? This option right here, right? That's what I want. So I'm going to have 3.28 feet over 1 meter. Okay? Check this out. 
This meter is cancel out and just multiply across. So you're going to have 5 times 3.28 feet. And that should give you the answer. Okay, so let's compute that using a calculator. You can do that by hand, but uh, I'm lazy, so I'm going to use a calculator. 5 times 3.28 is 16.4. So our answer is 16.4 feet. So 5 meters is the same thing as 16.4 feet. Okay? All right, let's try another example. Question uh, 3. Now, what if we ask to convert convert uh, 4.3 pounds um, to kilogram to kilograms if there are 2.2 pounds per kilogram? Okay. All right, now let's take a look at this statement. If there are 2.2 pounds per kilogram, what conversion factors can I generate with this statement? Well, the two conversion factors I can generate are 2.2 pounds over 1 kilogram. This is my first conversion factor. Or the reciprocal of this, 1 kilogram over 2.2 pounds. These are my conversion factors because they have the same magnitude, so they are equal to 1. And remember, 1 is a multiplicative identity, so when you multiply anything by 1, you do not change. Uh, you're not changing the measure, okay? So one of these two will apply to this scenario. I don't know which one yet. So what we're going to do is we're starting with 4.3 pounds. So let's write that down. I'm going to write 4.3 pounds as a fraction over 1, okay, times, i got to pick one of these options. Which one do I pick? Now, since I have pounds, let me write this as plural, sorry. <laughs> since I have pounds upstairs here, I need the conversion factor with the pounds downstairs so the pounds will cancel out. So which option do I pick? This is the correct choice right here because the pounds is downstairs. So this is when I, this is the conversion factor that is appropriate for this problem, okay? So I'm going to have one kilogram divided by 2.2 pounds, okay? See what happens here. The pounds divide out. This goes here one, this goes here one. And we're left with kilogram, which is what we want. So we multiply across, we have 4.3 over 2.2 kilogram. That's the only measure or unit that's left. So all I just do is divide this out, and that will give me my final answer. So let's use a calculator to help us out. 4.3 uh -oh. 4 divided by 2.2. Answer is 1.95. Let's round it up. Let's just round up to two decimal places. 1.95. So it's going to be 1.95 uh, kilogram. Okay, so 2.2 pounds is 1.95 kilogram. So there goes your final answer. All right, let's take a look at the last question, which is uh, question number four. Um, how many how many bytes? are there in 2 gigabytes, okay? All right, this we're going to do assuming we know the fact that we have that 1 gigabyte is equal to 1,024 megabyte, megabytes, and 1 megabyte is equal to 1,024 kilobytes. And one kilobyte is equal to uh, 1,024 bytes. So, what do these, what conversion factors, a group of conversion factors, can I generate using these three statements? Well, um, for the first one, I know that this tells me that uh, we have one gigabyte per. 1024 megabyte or 1024 megabyte per 1 gigabyte. This one tells me that I have 1 megabyte per 1024 kilobyte or 1024 kilobyte per 
one megabyte. Okay, and this one down here, let's see if I can select it. This one down here tells me that, um, this one down here tells me that there are one, one kilobyte, I have two conversion factors, either one kilobyte per 1024 bytes or 1024 bytes per one kilobyte. Okay, so all these converging factors are all equal to one. So when I multiply any number by a combination of these, I do not change the number because they are all unity, they're all one, okay? So um, for this problem, following the same procedure, we want to convert two gigabytes, okay? So I write two gigabyte as a fraction over one times, and I'm going all the way to bytes. So the question is, which option is correct? Am I going to use this group right here? Or am I going to use this group right here? Okay, we're going to be one of the one or the other. Okay, so which group am I going to pick to make this conversion work? So the same procedure. Um, you have gigabyte on the top. Whichever one starts with a gigabyte on the bottom, that's the one you're going to pick. So which one has a gigabyte on the bottom? This one, right? So guess what? I'm going to pick this entire uh, set of conversion factors. The reason is because I'm going from gigabyte all the way to kilobyte. So I have to pick all three. Okay? So check this out. I'm going to write this as, write the first one. 1024 megabyte per one gigabyte. Okay, this takes you from gigabyte to megabyte. That's not what I want. So I have to include the next one. 1024 kilobytes per one megabyte. This takes you from gigabytes to kilobytes. That's the only one. I gotta add one more. 1024 bytes per one kilobyte. And this takes you from gigabytes to kilobytes to bytes, sorry, and that's exactly what I want. Perfect. So check out, check this out. See the gigabyte divide out. And now this megabyte divide out to one. Put the one there. And then this kilobyte divide out to one. So we just simply multiply these numbers together and that tells us how many uh, bytes there are in two gigabytes, okay? So it's going to be two times 1024 times 1024 times 1024 bytes, okay? So this is our calculator to work this out. So with a calculator, this is going to be two times 1024 raised to the third power, you can times it three times. Anyways, two, well, 20, oh boy. It's basically 2147. So it's uh, 20, 20, uh, 2 billion, 147 million, 483,648. So two gigabytes, that's a lot of bytes, is equal to two billion one hundred forty seven million four hundred eighty three thousand six hundred forty eight bytes okay so there goes your final answer well thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video please feel free to subscribe to my channel by clicking up here for other cool videos such as this more videos can be found on mycreserve.com thanks again and have a wonderful day, cool day.